Hello, I'm the Safe Friends and Families. My name is Stacey Vegas, and today we're going to be taking a family yoga class. So go ahead and grab your mats. You can face them vertical towards me, and my mat is in a horizontal placement because I'll be teaching you, and that's the easiest way for me to teach you folks. So during this pandemic, um, it's very necessary that we all stay calm in a situation like this and just take precaution, making sure that our hands are clean, not touching the face, trying to keep in mind social distancing and only going out when it's necessary to buy groceries or to the pharmacy. But this is a good moment to just, you know, almost take a reset and relax and refresh. So I'm glad you'll we'll be joining me on that today. We're going to begin in a seated position. You can go ahead and cross your ankles in a crisscross applesauce or in a half lotus pose, whichever is most comfortable for you. You can go ahead and place the palms on your knees, soften the shoulders, pulling them away from your ears. You can pretend like there's a string attached to the top of your head, and as if someone's pulling it, you lengthen the spine. Go ahead and softly shut the eyes. You can take a nice deep inhale together. On the exhale, we're going to sigh. Deep inhale. Exhale with a sigh. Deep inhale. Exhale with a sigh. You're going to take an inhale and you're going to count to three in your head. Exhale, coming down to two. Inhale, counting to three. Exhale, counting to two. Repeat this three more times on your own. Gently open the eyes back up. Welcome back. We're going to begin by pretending that we are bees. Who knows what the sound of a bee makes? Yes, they also make humming sounds like this. Hmm. We're going to begin tracing circles with our body. We're going to inhale normally, and on the exhales, we're going to hum. Hmm. Go ahead and follow my direction. Inhale. Exhale with the hum. Hmm. Hmm. Now what we're going to do is what's called our flower. What do bees do when they see a flower? They grab the pollen from the flower so they can make honey. So with their hands, we're going to put both of our palms and wrists together like this. We're going to put the pinky and the thumb connecting. This is called our lotus mudra, but for now we're going to call it as a flower. So from here, we're going to go ahead and inhale. And exhale bringing the flower out. As we twist our body, tracing circles, we're going to inhale through our flower and exhale, bringing the flower out. Inhale together in. Exhale, bringing it out. Inhale, collecting all of the pollen. Exhale, bringing it out. One more, inhale, bring the pollen in. Exhale, bringing it out. We're going to release the arm. We're going to do one more breath with the humming breath. Inhale, trace the circle and hum out. Mm -hmm. This time, we're going to grab 
grab our flower. We're going to inhale, but this time you're going to go to your partner. If it's a family member or friend, and you're going to have them inhale a pollen for you. So go ahead and begin doing your circles. And then reach out to your friend. One person is going to be the receiver, and they're going to inhale the pollen for you. Perfect. Now repeat that two times on your own. Reach out, allow them to inhale the pollen. Perfect. Now bring it in. And we're going to release, bring your hands down. Now we're going to begin doing sunshine arms and ocean like exhales. So we're going to do inhale, bring the sunshine arms up. Exhale, making an ocean like sound. Inhale, sunshine arms up. Exhale. Inhale, making bring your sunshine arms up. Exhale. Throughout the entire practice, we're going to try to keep this breath consistent. Because while you're breathing through each movement, that is the practice of yoga. You want to keep in mind your breath with every movement that you take on your mat. From here, we're going to roll on into our hands and knees. We can begin to stretch side to side, rock forward or rock backwards, kind of get the nice grip of your hands and knees on the mat. Who knows what the sound of a cow makes? Correct, it makes a moving sound. So from here, we're going to bring our belly down to our mat, lifting the gaze forward, arching the spine, and we're going to make a moo sound because we are in a cow position right now. Then we're going to exhale, rounding the spine, tucking in the chin, we're making our cat position now. Inhale, we're going to come back into our cow position, making sure we're pulling the belly down towards the mat. We're going to make a moo sound. Moo. Perfect. This is our cow sound. We're going to exhale, rounding the spine, coming into our cat position. Arching the back, we're going to make our cow-like position. What is the sound that cow makes? Moo. Perfect. Now we're going to exhale round the spine. What does the sound of a cow make? Meow. Perfect. Inhale, coming back to our cow. Exhale, coming back into our cat position. Inhale. Cat. Exhale to the cow. We're going to come back into our lengthening our spine position. We're going to come back into our neutral spine position. We're going to untuck the toes. We're going to raise the hips all the way to the sky. This is called our downward facing dog. Our tail is all the way up. You can give it a little shake. Shake out your dog over here. You can, use, you can even walk your dog out, beginning to do pedals here. Bringing one heel down while lifting the other. Switch legs. Bend one leg, straighten the other. You know, walk it out. Now we're going to slowly walk up to our hands. We're going to observe the earth. Pretend that you're seeing rocks, even flowers. Take a good look at them. And we're going to inhale, bringing our hands all the way up to the ceiling, looking up. Exhale, bring our hands down to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, keeping the back straight. Exhale, we're going to bring the hands onto the earth. Place the knees gently back onto the earth, coming to our tabletop position. Tuck the toes in, raise the hips up, keeping the ears aligned with the arms. 
We're going to walk our dog out. We're going to run, 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 run this time to the top of our hands. Inhale, bringing our hands all the way up to the sky. Exhale, coming down to the earth. Take a look at those rocks and flowers. You're going to smell the flowers. Inhale, straighten back on your half the lift. Exhale, placing the hands on the mat, bringing our knees onto the floor. Now we're going to sit back and do what we call our rock pose, bringing the hips onto the ankles, gently putting the forehead on the mat. I'm going to rest here for three breaths. We're going to slowly come back up. And then we're going to untuck the toes, bring the hips up. We're back in our downward facing dog. Now we're going to bring the right foot up. This is called our third leg dog. And our tail's up over here. We're going to bring the foot forward in between the hands and rise up to warrior one. Who knows what warriors are like here? There are many different types of warriors. We have kind warriors, we have courageous warriors, and we have fearless warriors. Which warrior do you think you are? We're going to take two more breaths here. We're going to exhale, bring the hands down, foot back. Slowly drop the knees, coming back into our neutral tabletop position. Shake it out here. You can slowly wiggle your body on your hands and knees. We're going to come back into our neutral position and then untuck the toes, bring the hips back up, lifting the left leg this time. We're coming to our three legged downward dog. Bring the left foot towards your hands and slowly spin the back foot. Raise the hands up, we're coming to our warrior one. Speaking of warriors, sometimes warriors go through ups and downs, but it's normal, just like every human on the planet does. Warriors take the time to step back from the situation and realize what may have gone wrong. And then they slowly get back up and put the pieces together and continue on their journey. We're going to exhale, bring your hands back down, placing the knee down, and we're going to take another rock. We're going to go from left to right. From here, we're going to untuck the toes, lift the hips up, bring the left foot forward. We're going to spin the back heel, cartwheel our hands, and we're going to open to warrior two, making sure that the front heel is in line between the crevice of the back foot. We're going to spin the front heel towards the front room. Can someone tell me how many points are on our star? Correct, there are five points. We're going to count our head as one, our left hand as one, and our right hand as one. Left leg as another, and the right leg. So we have five in total. We're going to spread our star out, reach up, reach up, and then we're going to slowly bring it down to the ground. From here, you can grab your elbows. This is called our monkey hang. You're going to slide from left to right. Release the tension in the neck and release all of the tension in the lower back. Slowly unhook and slowly place your hands on your hips and begin to roll up vertebra by vertebra. Making sure the neck is the last to come back up. From here, you're going to bring your feet in closely. You can do this simple foot trick. 
From here, you're gonna lift the left foot up, making sure the toes are still good onto the mat, and the heel is lifted. And then you can twist the foot, bringing the bottom of the foot onto the lower calf. From here, you can place the hands onto your hip, picking the gaze forward so that your balance is staying and that you're keeping in focus here. It's okay if you fall, it's normal. This is called our tree pose. We're gonna bring our branches all the way up now, and we're gonna feel the sweat. Go ahead and give yourself that challenge. If you begin to fall over, that's completely okay. Not all branches stay on the tree, so it's normal. Feel it out here, go ahead, and whenever you want ready to stabilize, Find your balance and stay put. And we're going to take 30 breaths here. Exhale, bring the hands back down and slowly bring the foot down onto the mat. Now we're going to lift the right foot up, bringing the bottom foot onto the lower calf. Keeping your hands on the hips. Feel your balance. Keep your gaze on something. Keep the focus. And also remember to breathe. From here, we're going to slowly begin to reach up and spread our branches out. Many trees stay sturdy during any weather situation. It's, if it's a storm or tornado, some are able to stay. So let's pretend that we're going through a horrific storm. And our job is to stay sturdy like a strong tree. It's okay. Slowly get back to your normal balance. Bring the hands onto the hips. Drop the foot down. We're going to slowly bring our sunshine arms back up. Exhale. Bring our sunshine's arm, arms up. Exhale. Slowly come back down to our seated position. Thank you so much for joining me on this short family yoga session. Namaste. Please stay healthy and calm. Thank you.